first of all, I want to give credit to Wake Forest. I thought they made us play defense for 28 to 30 seconds on the shot clock on every single possession. Um, you know, obviously that wore us down on the offensive end, and they, and they kept us from running. And, you know, there's no doubt the strength of our team is our transition game. And, you know, I, I was just proud of our team, the way we weathered the storm and, and gutted it out there at the end. Improved to 4-0, a, a, a win is a win on the road. Uh, can you just talk about the effort of the team? Right, it wasn't pretty by any means, but it, it never is. Uh, Wake, Wake plays hard, and they, and they make you play ugly. Um, you know, they're, they're good on the defensive end, they're good on the offensive end, and, you know, they have a lot of depth. So I was just pleased with the, with the way um, Ty Marshall in the second half stepped up, and I thought she made some put us on her back on the offensive end and made some key plays. But, you know, Mimi Walthar hitting that three that kind of separated us there at the end, the last couple minutes of the game, and, you know, just the defensive stops. Um, we haven't played a lot of 2-3 zone all year, and we were able to press and go into a 2-3 zone, which I thought was effective. Went almost 14 minutes without a field goal. Huh. Uh, what did, what was uh, the key to staying in the game and then actually getting back on top and getting that lead? Well, the key to the game was our defense and our rebounding. Um, because, you know, if you don't score for, for, for that, that period of time, 10, 10 minutes plus, you should lose by 20 on the road. And um, obviously we were getting defensive stops, and we were able to get the defensive rebound to keep us in the game. Out rebounded for only the third time uh, all season. What was Wake doing to uh, to get those boards over? Well, I thought they were very physical. They're putting a body on us, and they worked extremely hard on the glass. Can you talk about the effort of Deja Foster tonight? Ten rebounds, six assists. She only had two points, but it showed up in other areas. Yeah, Deja's you know she's our catalyst. Whatever she's one of those players that whatever you need on any given night, she'll give you. Um, you know her ten rebounds were huge for us, considering we we didn't rebound the ball very well. But she came up with some some big uh, rebounds, and she really, uh, as a four player, can start our transition and, and bring the ball up the floor. So I think she does a lot of little things that don't necessarily show up on the stat sheet, but uh, that help us uh, translate into wins. Can you talk about the play of Danielle Hamilton Carter? She uh, didn't necessarily put a lot of things on the stat sheet, but did a lot of things well. Yeah, I thought she did a good job on post defense. I mean, I don't feel like the post player scored when she was in there on the low block. Um, I thought she was really physical and was able to deny the ball. And she got a couple key steals and, and deflections. But, you know, I just thought she did a great job of, of trapping and pressing in our presses. And um, defensively, I, I just thought it was great that she gave us such quality minutes. Short turnaround before heading to Durham for Friday night. Can you just talk about facing the Blue Devils? Well, we're excited. I mean, we can't treat this like any other game that we played this year. I mean, it's just another ACC team that's very, very good. This year, the league is good from top to bottom. I don't know that anybody's going to separate themselves completely from everyone else. On any given night, uh, anything can happen. It's anybody's game. So, um, you know, obviously we have tremendous respect for Duke and their program, what it represents. But, you know, we're looking forward to the opportunity.